from memorial service to a daring commando raid. On this day in 1942, the Allied troops climbed the cliffs at the Hog's Back to investigate how the Germans were occupying the island and how the local people were coping. They took prisoners and left three German soldiers dead. The raid led to Hitler's famous order that any captured commandos were to be killed. My father used to talk about him a lot. They were both in special operations together, and my father said that Geoffrey was very brave, but a very moral man. He was a good man. He was very aware that the people he was fighting were ordinary men like him, and I don't think that makes soldiers, makes their lives any easier, but they know what they have to do. And tomorrow our cameras will be following a reenactment of the basalt raid, and you can see more on tomorrow night's programme at 6.30. Well, as you just say, it may have been a small raid, but its consequences in World War II were far-reaching. 75 years ago, people in Nazi-occupied Sark had awoken to the startling news that a group of Allied commandos had scaled the island's cliffs on a reconnaissance and research mission. Today, their daring actions are being remembered. Mike Wilkins has the story. At the tip of a tiny British island, people from all over the world came to remember a daring raid that took place 75 years ago. A dozen Allied commandos scrambled up these rocks onto German-occupied Sark. Their aim was to extract intelligence and capture some Germans. But their own intelligence information was so sketchy that they didn't know where the Germans were. So they literally went around knocking on doors. And when they approached this house, they found a local woman called Frances Pittard, who took a huge risk and told them where the Germans were. Behind me, three German soldiers were killed in what was then the annex building, and one was taken prisoner and returned to England along with the commandos. Now, this raid, although small in scale, had a big impact. It led to more Channel Islanders being rounded up and deported to Germany. And also Adolf Hitler learned about this raid and he was so incensed that he issued what became known as the Commando Order, which meant that in future any Allied commandos who were captured would be executed. It's a fact Hitler was furious that German soldiers whose hands had been bound appeared to have been shot in the back and he thought this was a war crime and soldiers were behaving badly, unlike the German army, which he thought behaved impeccably. The hypocrisy is unbelievable here, but he did issue this order, this commander order, which did was the death sentence for many Allied commandos who fell into German hands. The raid was led by Major Geoffrey Appleyard, a Yorkshireman with a Channel Island connection. He used to visit Sark on holiday before the war, and his elder sister ended up running home for decades. Few of those men of the small-scale raiding force who took part in Operation Basalt, survived the war. And some, like my half-brother, have no grave, having perished during operations without their bodies ever being found. So this stone serves as a memorial to them, as well as commemorating the raid. This dashing young major, who you've probably never heard of, may have affected your life in ways you didn't realise. The James Bond author, Ian Fleming, was his liaison officer, and it's believed to base the character on Major Appleyard. James Bond is meant to be an amalgam of um, the three friends, Gus March Phillips, Graham Hayes, and Geoffrey Appleyard. So, nice to know that I'm related to James Bond. <laughs> if you're wondering what happened to Frances Pittard after she was deported to Germany, well, she survived the war and returned to Sark to see out her days, where she's laid to rest here. This small monument on a tiny British island marks a commando raid that had a very big impact. Mike Wilkins, BBC Channel Islands News, Sark. And